Hi there, so I'm going to be talking about the three different, well, breaking it down into three different groups of joints. So for the first one, we have the fibrous and arthrotic, and I drew the skull, and it's basically it's a suture and it's non-movable. Then for the second one, I have the cartilaginous amphiarthrotic, is that how you say it? Amphiarthrotic? I don't know. Anyhow, um, I drew the spine. And it's basically a vertebrae and slightly movable. And then for this third one, I drew the hand. Sorry, this is weird to hold. Basically, it's really movable. It's a joint. It's the synovial diathrotic one. Diathrotic, yeah, that's how you see And then for the uh, rotational movements of the synovial joints and fun stuff. For our first one, we have the flexion and extension of the knee joint. It's kind of hard to see. And then the second one, second one, we have the flexion, extension, and hyperextension of the hand at the wrist joint. Third one, we have the abduction and the adduction of the hip joint. And then we have this right here, which is the circumduction of the shoulder joint. And then we've got the medial and lateral rotation of the arm at the shoulder joint. And then we have supination and pronation of the forearm and hand movement of at the radial, radial ulnar joint. And then you have elevation and depression of the shoulder. And then we have the dorsiflexion and the plantar flexion of the foot at the ankle joint. And then we've got invert. Yeah, inversion and eversion of the right foot and ankle joint. And then we have the protract protraction and retraction of the head.